But after Monday's loss, this Suns team was obviously frustrated. Frank Vogel said you had a spirited film session holding each other accountable out there. What allowed this team to respond tonight? Not just that. I mean, Frank got on our ass. It's just plain and simple. If the Phoenix Suns want to avoid the play-in tournament, they're going to have to play like this for the final nine games or play even better than they did tonight. It's crazy to think that there's only nine games left in the Phoenix Suns regular season. This NBA season has gone by fast. This is just going to be a quick video, you guys, and hear me out for a second. Even though this win was great and I'm happy that we won, I honestly think the Phoenix Suns could have played better. You what? And that's what's crazy about this Phoenix Suns team. Let's just pretend Devin Booker has a better shooting night, for example. And let's say the Suns don't turn the ball over as much. They probably would have blown out the Denver Nuggets. That's how much potential this Phoenix Suns team has. This Suns team is the most confusing team in franchise history. You suffer your worst loss of the regular season to a Victor Wemby list Spurs team. And then you come back and you defeat the defending champions on their home floor. The Suns team makes no sense. The Suns shot 16 for 33 from three tonight. They made 16 threes. That's good enough for 48 and a half percent. When the Suns shoot the ball like that, they are a tough team to beat. The Suns also won the rebounding battle without use of Nurkic tonight, 51 to 38. And I already talked about the turnovers. The Suns did have 17 turnovers, but I will give the Suns credit with this is that they did do a better job with ball movement tonight. And I feel like they were a lot more patient with the ball, especially when it was zipping around the floor. I really felt like the Phoenix Suns were doing all that they could not to turn the ball over. And again, you guys, you clean up those turnovers and this game is probably a blowout. They had 29 assists, by the way. Besides Kevin Durant's eight turnovers, he was absolutely spectacular tonight. And I really mean spectacular, especially on the defensive end. Like, late in the game he took a charge and sacrificed his body that is the Kevin Durant that we are going to need not to mention his incredible offense he was 12 for 20 shooting tonight 30 points 13 rebounds and five blocks that's the most blocks he's had since he was with the Warriors back in 2019 like I mentioned Devin Booker had a bad shooting night but he did play good defense he had 17 points and nine assists Nine assists for Devin Booker and only two turnovers. Again, I was a little critical about the shooting and everything. I did tweet out that he does have to be better because everybody needs to be held accountable. But I will take the good defense and the nine assists. Thaddeus Young finally got playing time. And Thaddeus Young was absolutely awesome tonight, you guys. Six points, nine rebounds, Four offensive rebounds. He was everywhere tonight. He also had two assists. He was competing on defense. He was great tonight. And shout out to Gambo from Arizona Sports for this tweet right here. This is his key to the game in his opinion. Denver had a 12-0 run to make it a three-point game at 71-68. to And Phoenix answered in a big way. KD hits a mid-range shot. Booker three-pointer. EG three-pointer. KD turnaround for a 10-0 run, and that put the Suns up 81-68. to It's funny, too, because I think there was a couple of times in this game where the Suns went minutes without scoring, and that just goes to show my point once again. The Suns could have played better in this game, and if they did, again, it's probably a blowout. And I don't want to hear the, oh, we didn't have Jamal Murray, because we didn't have Yusuf Nurkic tonight, so shut up. <laughs> Every win matters at this point. The Phoenix Suns are currently the seventh seed, but that could change tomorrow. The Phoenix Suns need everything to go their way to avoid the play, and they need every single win that they can get. So you guys do me a huge favor. Put your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. You already know the drill. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Win or lose Phoenix Suns for life, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Suns. I mean, Frank got on our ass. That's just plain and simple. Sounds good. Appreciate it.